where are we with machine learning in terms of how it integrates into personalization? Well, you absolutely cannot really have it without it. You know, I want to dovetail on what Justin and, and Jerry here have just said about the complexity of just bringing all of this data together and making it useful. An example on the content owner side is when you think about distribution and realize that there are so many cable systems out there that, that could be running the exact same content, as Jerry has said, at completely different ways and times. And then there's also the ability to play it back later. Well, when you as a content owner come back and try to pull together your numbers on that, you know, what, what was my audience? Tell me what my audience was from every single source. That's an enormous lift. And it takes in some inside of some content companies a day to pull all that together. We literally wrote a program to pull that together. That's the beauty of ML. We can help really bring that data together, even if it's disparate data, and allow you then to start using it. ML is, is absolutely vital to personalization. Without that, without the, the crunch that we've got now with the, with the cloud, with, with elastic search, with all of the databases that allow you to integrate all kinds of data in near real time, you don't have it. And consumers today demand it. They demand that it is up to date and it is, it is really tailored to them. Okay. It's a leap from, you know, looking at uh, Google Analytics from, from things and, and looking at that and, and to, to the idea about getting to those reports a whole lot quicker. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's, I think that Landa's point, I'm not being as eloquent as she was with it, but it really is the case that, um, you know, we used to talk about big data and managing big data. Well, we're dealing with infinite data at this point. And so be able, being able to go through a collection of, of data and be able to um, be able to, um, uh, in, you know, glean any meaning out of it is really a very important thing. Um, so yes, and, and a lot of times for us, we will, we do carriage reports, traditional carriage reports for stations, but we also need to just keep on upping the game on that to really try to get a sense of, uh, you know who's actually watching um, uh, what for how long in a given in a given space. Um, again, the idea about making the leap between or the melding between traditional broadcast and streaming is really what we're very interested in, and I think that's where the, the we're only going to see more of that happening. Uh, okay. Machine learning is going to be more and more important.